Before you start insulating your application, make sure you lay out the insulation materials in a clean area. You should also clean the pipe to rid surface of dirt, grease, and oil. When possible, try to insulate the pipe before it is being installed. This simplifies the task and saves time, taking advantage of the elastomeric product's flexibility. Start by sliding the K-Flex non-slit tube directly over the pipe from one end. It is important that you do not force the tube on, as this will deform the material. Instead, you should push it smoothly without exercising undue pressure. This will ensure that it grips to the surface of the pipe naturally, especially around curved sections. K-Flex USA offers non-slit tubes in 6 and 18 foot length in black and in white for an approved appearance. Grab the connecting tube with insulation and slide it onto the pipe. Apply K-Flex contact adhesive to the edge of the tubes. Allow it to become tacky and bond the two tubes with a firm press. If the underlying pipe has to be brazed, free an area of one foot between the part to be soldered and the edge of the tube. Once the pipe has cooled, the insulation can be completed. If you are installing for an outdoor application, make sure to apply K-Flex 374 protective coating or use K-Flex clad jacketing on the elastomeric foam. This includes supports, valves, and flanges. Start by adhering the insulation directly to the pipe using a two inch strip of contact adhesive or sealant to maintain closure. Insulation tape can also be used for this purpose. On straight runs, install vapor stops every 18 feet or 5.4 meters to minimize moisture problems. For severe UV exposure, K-Flex USA recommends to use K-Flex 374 protective coating or K-Flex clad jacketing on the elastomeric foam. For more installation information, please reference our installation manual that you can download from our website at www.kflexusa.com.